Well, the first thing that went through my mind was, I'm going to die. I cannot believe I actually feel love and compassion for this person who wants to kill me. What if you went shopping, you're coming back to your car, and all of a sudden there is a gun in your ribs and a man that is on the FBI's 10 most wanted list, a man that has brutally killed 40 women that looked like you, said, get in the car. get into the car and sit on your hands and he said if you don't if you move I will kill you and in fact the uh, 2 a.m. the previous morning he had killed a girl doing the same thing he put the gun right here in my ribcage in the car so I decided to do it I said, okay, inside of myself, okay, Lord, I'll do it. I took my hands out from under myself after saying to him, what is your name? And he said, my name is Stephen. And I said, I'm going to pray for you. And he said, no, you're not. I said, yes, I am. And I took my hands out from under me, put, and I put him on his head, and the gun was still on me. That's right after one. that, I put my hands back underneath me and sat there like this, praying, and he said, Lady, you don't have to sit on your hands. It's okay. I think, I don't know why, but I think I just want to talk to you. And then he said, uh, I can't believe this. I'm in a car with a religious freak. And he told me, um, he said, I, I don't know what it is about you, lady, but I've never felt this kind of love in my life. I don't know what it is. It's not simple. I don't understand it. Um, are you an angel? Who are you? Why aren't you afraid of me? And he told me much later that the reason, uh, you know, he could do these horrible things with these women, he said they were so afraid of me, I made them that I could make them do anything I wanted them to do because they were so terrified of me. But you are not afraid of me.